about to figure it out right here and now. I mean, if I'm talking my predictions, I'm gonna go Petchy three. I actually think Petchy are just in better form today. I, I'm 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 gonna say Petchy three zero. Okay, wow. Okay, it's been a while since we've had a three zero. Yeah, yeah we've only had one in the entire yeah. tournament so far. So. And it was barely a 3-0, so, <laughs> yeah, right. so me doing this prediction is pretty bold, honestly. <laughs> well, we'll see. I mean, Petchy certainly have the offense to do it, Gamer Legion. We'll have to see if they can pull their offense out, and, well, it's not going to happen right here. It's Petchy who will strike first. It's the man we talked about just a second ago, Wisty, receiving a pass from AJG, and Petchy on the board first. Yeah, Wisty with a beauty right down the center. Nobody from Game, Gamer Legion back. Not sure what happened there in their rotations to just have absolutely nobody in the vicinity, but unfortunate for them and fortunate for Petchy is now it's going to be Bims looking to make something happen, looking for the reset, trying to play some bully ball in the front line against two players, but Gamer Legion is going to be holding strong. Leo heading back the other way, and just like that, Petchy are going to swarm the ball, sending it right back the other way with nice clear and maybe an opportunity for a goal. As it gets left off dangerously in front of the net, but nobody's going to be home to make sure that this one gets put in the back of the net just quite yet. And that matchup between Petchy and Loud, it was kind of a you know, knockdown, drag out type of fight. As, hold on, Pan just put one off the crossbar. It was open on that far side. He couldn't put it away. Petchy, though, you know, in that matchup, it was a very long one. It kind of felt like it dragged out. And I think that benefits Gamer Legion if Petchy get to that same form. And right now, Gamer Legion able to respond back a lot quicker than they were able to respond back against Furia. And Petchy are letting him in. Pan should have scored his earlier one, but leaves it for Leo this time. And Gamer Legion find their equalizer. Yeah, and just like we stated, we figured that this might be a really, really close series. Figured that every game might even be close. We got to figure it out. Is Gamer Legion going to be showing up or is Petchy going to going to be running away with this one a little bit. It looks like Gamer Legion got a little fight back, but just like that, AJG answers right on back and says, you know what, we're going to keep that lead that we've had for quite some time. Oh, Pan, not getting that touch. That's a couple mistakes now coming out from Pan, or at least one crucial mistake there in the missed opportunity earlier, if you want to word it more nicely. But either way, could have been a two-goal flip. And now Bam's looking for the bump on Alp, and he will find it. Wisty will... Barely push it through. You thought maybe the last man recovered. But a 3-1 lead now for Petchy. They are blowing this one wide open. Yeah, just like that, Petchy are starting to get this one rolling. And once you start that locomotive, there might not be any stopping it. Petchy are looking really, really good. And the fact we're only, only 83 seconds in, and we've already gotten four goals in this game. I mean, hey, I'll take a goal every 20 seconds all day long. That's some of the funnest Rocket League to commentate might get it with the way this game's going and a lot of goals already for it in that first minute and a half this ball just dangerously floating in front of the box and HAG just didn't put it on target I don't know if he was trying to lay it off but he could have easily taken the shot but Petchy leaving their fourth goal on the table as Gamer Legion are just trying to get a hold of the pace of play right now this one to the far post it's pinched away and Petchy have been knocking on the door now for a minute. Yeah, they're doing a solid job of applying a lot of pressure. Gamer Legion answer right back. Wisty with a save. Trying to keep this one at bay. They do get the clear, but it's sent right back into Gamer Legion's hands. Bams now gonna have his shot. Sends it for AJG. The bump was there, Bims. Oh my goodness, Bims. That was a great play coming out. Oh my goodness. I, I, I don't even know what to say at this point. Petchy are clicking. Yeah, Bems, great slot to the post, but really it was that bump. And even just the, the physicality coming out from Petchy getting in the way, bumping that last man, opening up the shooting lane. A lot of physical play coming out from Petchy, and that's opening up a lot of opportunity. And Gamer Legion have to respond. They have to look out for players sweeping through the defense. You've seen it a couple times now. That was the one that they scored. There's been a few. They haven't been so successful on, but they got the setup. And as a defense, it's so hard to respond to physical play. A lot of times players have gotten so good at it, they're coming from behind you, you're not expecting it, or you're forced into a really unfortunate situation where you feel like you have to go early. Right now, you might might as well pack it up early here in game one. It is 5-1 and it's all petchy. 
Yeah, when it rains, it pours right now. We were wondering if Gamer Legion was gonna show up. I think it's not so much that Gamer Legion aren't showing up. I think it's just that Petchy is showing out. They are playing absolutely superb right now. Certainly the case, but Gamer Legion. Uh oh. oh. <laughs> we'll get a As kick we off say goal. that. <laughs> and, and and rightfully so, I suppose. AJG not cl uh, tackling that one properly, and it leaves the follow up almost instantly from Leo to put it home. It's a Three goal scoreline with two minutes, and you might say, well, you know, hey, it's possible, but the way this game's been going, Petchy have been all over Gamer Legion. You know, you give up a kickoff goal, fine. But the offense is just gonna keep clicking. Oh Another one on the goal line, it's dancing across, and Leo is able to push it away for the moment. But Petchy once again, right back on their doorstep. Yeah, Petchy are relentless right now with this offensive pressure coming out. I mean, the fact that Gamer Legion were only able to get a, a cheeky kickoff goal recently since this run has started. I mean, hey, at the end of the day, Petchy uh, are really, really feeling good, looking good as well, and I'm, I'm really impressed by this squad. I, I said that I felt like they were the better team outright, and I feel like that might be the case. Certainly is in game one. Gamer Legion giving up more goals to Petchy in game one than they did to Furia. They wow! Have not had much of a response. They've had a couple shots here and there, obviously a couple goals, and for two goals, it's that's fine. It's a good stat, but when you're up against six now for Petchy, you just don't have wow. enough steam. Yeah, they are fully running out of steam because Petchy are taking all of it for their locomotive, and they are <laughs> rolling away with this game number one. This thing is not even close. A minute left on the clock, and like you stated, you can almost wrap this one up right now. Yeah, it's just more about staff padding at this point. Poor Petchy. And this is the danger for Gamer Legion. Now, we did see Gamer Le Legion adapt pretty well to Furia, especially midway through game one at, when we started our day here, but we are not seeing that from Gamer Legion at this point. We talked about it a little bit in that previous series with Furia. You know, you asked me, when did it, things change for Gamer Legion? A lot of times people would point to in between games, but it was really in that game one where Gamer Legion kind of started to show, uh, you know, turn over a new leaf defensively. In this series or in this game, so far, it's been more of the same for Gamer Legion. They haven't been able to adapt to what Petchy's throwing out. Yeah, not quite AJG. Oh my. Looking to make a flashy play happen, but it ended up hitting the crossbar barely, barely too high. But another great opportunity coming out for Petchy is, like you stated, they're just padding the stats at this point. Five seconds left, and Gamer Legion are going to have some time to think about what in the world do they do about this patchy offense? How do they slow down Wisty, who's been a magician behind the ball today? How do they get in front of AJG, who's been threatening the backboard over and over? And how do they look out for Bebs, who's been leading the charge for Petchy as they're up 1-0 in this best of five? They have some sort of change to slow down this offense coming out from Petchy. Yeah, we see the eggs are ready, the eggs are hype. We're hoping the Gamer Legion don't lay one here because they're going to need to definitely find some firepower in this series, and they need to do it right here and now. It's only a best of five. You do not want to go down this early. And don't forget that this Community Cup is the lead-up to the Esports World Cup featuring Rocket League. It's going down August 22nd through the 25th. Where 16 of the best teams from all around the world, all different regions, are going to be battling it out for 500,000 USD, and the esports will be absolutely incredible. You are not going to want to miss it. This is just a taste of what you'll see in that competition, at least for Rocket League, as I'm sure these teams. Well, some of them aren't going to be there, but some of them are that we've seen today. <laughs> do do we know uh, yet who all is going to be going or no? Uh, it is announced. I don't know off the top of my head for South America. Uh, I would assume it's okay. and Team Secret or something like that. But that would but make yeah. sense. Pan looking for the back wall. Alp. He's the last man. He's got AJG. This has been his bread and butter. Trying to go for the plan B and right in front of him as AJG has been making some magic happen offensively in the solo plays, but for Petchy, not able to put it away that time. 
and not quite. Bims able to catch that one, send it to the side to AJG. Pechi able to get a nice handle on it, sending it right back down to the Gamer Legion half. Good touch going to be coming out yet again. Demo coming out onto AJG though, and that might be able to slow down this offensive push coming out from Pechi. But here we go, AJG's right back up. And in the mid, Pan is able to win that one out. An awkward touch, and that's going to leave it right for Alp, who ends up missing, but Leo's going to be right there to clean it on up. And a quality goal here for Gamer Legion. I mean, Bems leaves this one out to dry, and Alp, <laughs> while he misses the shot, he has his teammate in follow-up, and they put it home. We should have gone in on the first one anyway. And they get their first goal of this game, and more importantly, they get a lead and a little bit of a cushion against this petchy offense. AJG looking to flip it over the top of the defense, not going to be able to. But that first goal going the way of Gamer Legion is going to be massive for their confidence. They are going to be feeling so much better right now in this game. The fact that we're nearing the midpoint and Pechi haven't scored after really putting on an offensive onslaught in game number one against Gamer Legion. I'm sure Gamer Legion are very, very happy with the situation right now. Absolutely. And that's a great pass down for Bams. Oisty stretching out, getting a flip reset, going back up. He still has some boost to make it work. Here comes Leo. Gamer Legion looking for their second. It's not going to be on that attempt. Wisty over to AJG. They have been a deadly combination. Neither of which coming up with the shot. And Leo takes this one back. So Pechi, we talked about how, how strong they were offensively in the previous game. And they certainly were. Now sitting three minutes into this game in game two. And they're down one. Oh, my still, gosh. That one comes that off was the almost... crossbar. <laughs> Oh, Wisty almost just had no way he's going to score here. If he's, I was about to say, that would have been the craziest turn of events to go from almost the wildest own goal. Oh, man. What a situation. But Pechi, I mean, we know they can do it, and there we go. They do. So, 1 1 game right now. The question is, are Gamer Legion going to be able to figure out a way to, to, to stop the potential downfall that they're about to be facing? Because we know what Pechi can do when they start heating up. Yeah, that, that's a little scary. If you let Petchy in, they have been able to take over games. So here we are. Gamer Legion, their cushion's gone, but thankfully put to good use. With a minute and a half left on the clock, and Petchy looking to ramp up their offense. And with a solid touch in the mid, and the demo as well. Try to make sure that this pressure from Pechi ends up getting stopped right in its tracks. And a nice flick. One person to beat. Oh, but it is going to be Wisty yet again with a nice pass. And what a setup. Oh, my goodness. That escalated so quickly. Pechi were on the defense. And then one second later, they're fully doing a nice attack. Oh, my gosh. Solid passing. No way that that went in. That actually pinched in. My goodness. Out. I, I got to see this again. He's just going for the challenge. I mean, that's, that's yeah. all I think he was going for. And that one just pitches straight into the net. And you really can't blame Petchy too much. Uh, fortunately, that one pinches straight in to their goal. And yeah, Petchy, that was just a little bit of luck. Or rather, Gamer Legion sitting up by a goal with 50 seconds left. Yeah, a little bit of luck, a little bit of skill. Hey, make it work as long as it goes in at the end of the day. So now Petchy, they've got their work cut out for them. They're only down by a goal, but this game has been more than frustrating for them to break in the Gamer Legion defense. And we know that Gamer Legion can lock it down. We saw what they did against Furia defensively, despite losing that series. Can they channel some of that here when they have a one goal lead? That is very true. If Gamer Legion were able to, to keep Furia at bay, they should be able to keep Pechi at bay, theoretically. But <laughs> you never know how it works, especially in these community cups where teams sometimes play up to their opponents, play down to their opponents. Just got to see what exactly everyone's going to be hanging on to. Is it's going to be Gamer Legion trying to drop this one down, and they are going to be able to. It was a little bit close. Thought of into this next game. This one is huge. This is going to put one of these two squads on series point. Series point matters so much because guess what? If you lose this series, you're done. You're not in the money. You're going home. Oh, my. Oh, goodness. Oh, gosh. Oh, Leo. All right. Gamer Legion have gotten 
a couple of goals <laughs> now <laughs> that have been off of pinches and yep. wild interactions just going their way. So <laughs> we'll see if this keeps up. Well, that one, that was a little bit more intentional off that kickoff, getting both those players right next to the ball. The, the quick follow-up allows them to attack it. So that one, that one at least <laughs> they, they meant to do. It was the best case scenario, but they certainly let that one set up uh, on purpose. And now Petchy trying to fight back. It's some chaos at the top of the box. AJG to the backboard looking for follow-up. No one gets a touch on it. And the opportunity was there for Petchy, although you can't blame them. You didn't expect Gamer Legion to let that one go. And not whatsoever, as Gamer Legion are definitely going to try and go back into this defensive mode that they've shown that they can do extremely well today at different times, not only in Game 2, but like you stated before, against Furia, mostly throughout the whole series. And <laughs> just like that, Pan answers back. Sending it all the way down. Alp left it off for him, and Pan finishes the job. Yeah, well done from Pan. It's been important for Gamer Legion to, to capitalize on their opportunities to execute when it's needed and to convert. And they've done that here twice over Pechi. Is it three times? No, it's off the post. Follow up. Is that one in? No, it's off the crossbar. Another one off the crossbar. Alp wow. somehow found the angle. Leo's got to go back because otherwise they're going to get countered. And here comes Bems the other way. Pechi still not able to break through in this first minute. Pan will go back and now try to attack through and dunk it home. And Gamer Legion find themselves in a 3-0 lead. Yeah, Gamer Legion right now are cooking. Uh, I don't know where this Gamer Legion offense came from, but they got to keep it rolling. But they certainly will. They certainly have. Unless Bems slows this went down, got cute with it for a second. Did not pan out. AJG, he's got options, drops it off. And Petchy still scoreless. They've spent a little bit of time on this Gamer Legion side, but certainly not as dangerous as they have been before. And Gamer Legion have been better for it. A 3-0 lead, and Petchy, the ball is in their court. They have got to respond, otherwise... It feels like Gamer Legion are just going to continue to run away with this game. We still have three and a half minutes left. Yeah, and here's the thing, is that Petchy we've seen score, what, six goals in like, what, four minutes or something crazy like that? So, I mean, it's possible that Petchy can still come back in this game. They can still string something together, but it has to start here and now. Like, they cannot wait whatsoever. Got a lot of time. Maybe this is the start of something, but instantly broken down. Pan just won to beat, and he goes instantly into the challenge. It was AJG, who now wants to go on the counter. Can he flip reset his way through the defense? No, Gamer Leech is standing tall for now. Wisty still can't get around it. He's not towards net. AJG somehow keeping possession here, waiting for the pass across. Is Bems. He'll put it home. Wow. And that's exactly what Petchy needed with 2.37 on the clock. Yeah, great pass, great coordination. As you can see, AJG just rode the wall to make sure he could get the angle. Great stuff, and Bims was able to finish it off. Three to one advantage now for Gamer Legion. All right, Petchy, we've seen what they can do. If they get a goal, sometimes it can turn into a lot of momentum. Will that happen yet again? Half the game left. And for Pecci, maybe finding some form here as they've spent a lot more time in the last 40 so or seconds in the Gamer Legion side. The shot goes wide. Pecci is certainly posturing a little bit more offensively now. Clears are trickling out to Pecci players, and they have space to work with. Gamer Legion getting a lot of quarter or clears, excuse me, around the top of their net. This one just off oh. the post. Everyone committed from Pecci, despite nobody getting a touch on the ball. And Gamer Legion do get out with a lot of space to work with, but instantly give it back up. Wow, I thought out of all the opportunities, that one right there was going to be one of those wild angles hit. Yet again, AJG having a chance, but the defense is there still. This Pecci roster is trying to make this one happen, trying to crack this Gamer Legion defense, but it is much easier said than done. Now time is certainly becoming a factor, and Gamer Legion threatening is not what Petchy wants. Pan trying to go for a ridiculous angle, not going to find it, or at least not going to find the net. He did actually hit that one quite well, but Bems dropping this one down to his teammate. 
Pechi have got to go, and they've got to go now. They give it off to their ma magician and Wisty, but has the magic run out? Pechi, Bems does put this one away. It was Wisty on the demo that opened up the net, and with a minute four on the clock, Pechi have a chance. All right, now, li hey, listen. Listen, man, I said they score six <laughs> goals in four minutes. This, this squad can start to cook really, really fast, and... Now they've got a whole minute on the clock just to tie it up. I think it's definitely possible that Pecci might be able to steal this game away. Oh, it's certainly possible. They got well over a minute into that kickoff. And now an uh -oh. open net. Oh, they flubbed it, Benz. He came in a little he too missed hot. It. I, AJG was trying to dish it off, but Benz rushed it. And now Pecci, they had their equalizer. They had their chance. They'd have to create another one. Oh, man, it's so hard to recreate moments like that. That was such a great opportunity coming out for them. And now with only 30 seconds left, you know Gamer Legion are going to go in that hard turtle mode. They're going to make sure that no mistakes are made. Wait a second. How did that end up happening? That is that is super unfortunate. Push too hard. Oh, Petchy. yeah. They were throwing everything. They were trying to push. And that one got poked free at Gamer Legion. Up by two with 25 seconds left. Now, it's still not out of the realm of possibility here for Pecci, but they would definitely need something off the kickoff, or at least something with time left on the clock. It's a quick challenge from Wisty, and maybe this is the chance for Pecci if they can get a hold of it. Yeah, just got to be able to figure something out right here and now to get it past the defense. This might be it, and yes, it is. AJG finds the top right corner, I believe, and just like that, with 10 seconds left, we got ourselves a one-goal game. Great ball from Wisty. Just putting that one in a position where it has the best percent chance to succeed for his team. And I'm sure the comps helped as well. But from his POV, he probably couldn't see much over there. And now off the kickoff. That is a disaster. Wow. A disaster for Pecci. All that good work and all the chances they had to be given away with a kickoff. I think they wanted to fake it and go for the Spanish. Oh, but yeah. AJG got a little piece of it. He got too close, and that one popped it up and over his last man, and that is a shame. But I like the idea of mixing up the kickoffs. Now, you're just hoping and praying for some luck. Yeah, I mean, right at this point, I mean, Gamer Legion are going to be feeling great about this game. Uh, you know, they're going to be feeling great about how they played it, how many goals they scored. Yes, they gave up three, but at the end of the day, they had such a comfortable lead. Well, they've got another shot. How will Pecci answer back in the face of elimination? Oh my goodness, who would have thought that Pecci wouldn't make it to Championship Sunday? I figured that they would be in the top six teams in this tournament, but who knows, man, the way things have been shaping out, they're one game away from not making it there. Really look towards Pecci to find that offense that they found in like, at like, one minute, 20 seconds to 45 seconds left in that last game. That was where they were really mixing up the Gamer Legion defense, and they were finding each other. You saw the solo plays come out. The confidence came back. They were using each other. They had the lead blocker. Everything was being set up properly by Pecci. That's their bread and butter. That's where they found the most success today. That's how they're going to win this series. They just got to keep on this pressure. They've got to figure out what worked best for them, what didn't work, and apply that here and now. Because if you don't, sayonara. Simple as that. And on the other side for Gamer Legion, they got to keep doing exactly what they've been doing. They've been controlling that midfield line heavily. It's taken demos for Pecci to break it. And the opportunities for Pecci, this one's dangerous, are instantly blocked by Gamer Legion. Certainly want to keep that flowing as well defensively. Pecci trying to put Gamer Legion into the blender, but it's not happening. Gamer Legion, well, hold on a second. As soon as I start talking, this one to the far side off the post. Wisty will slice and dice his way through with his lead blocker, and that's exactly the bread and butter that Pecci had ordered. AJG tried to get a piece of that last man and out, but it caused him to slow down. Wisty could pick his spot. I mean, listen, Wisty right now is acting like he's a superstar out here on the pitch. Straight up. He is straight up saying, listen, in some of these situations, I'm him. It's just that simple. And maybe facing elimination, that's where we're going to see Wisty really start to shine. Who knows? 
They're going to need more of that from him if they're going to win this series. For Gamer Legion now, for a team that struggled with output, at least in their first series of the day, you start to wonder if they can continue it, or rather break the cycle here in this game. That one's lobbed up and over the top of the pan. Out. Tries to put this one to the far side. Pan's there. Look for follow-up now. Back towards the midfield. This one finds the corner again. Pan looking for the bump on Wisty. Follow-ups there. Out far side. And Gamer Legion, it took everything. But they threw enough fakes and bought enough time for their last man to come through on the shot. And Gamer Legion find their equalizer. They threw everything in a bag of chips at it. And finally, they're able to get it just like that. Finding the equalizer, this Gamer Legion squad, they are not messing around today. It looks like they've found exactly what works for them and doing it to a T against this Pechi roster. But as I say that, AJG puts one right in the back of the net and sends Pechi in the lead yet again. Yeah, the struggle for Gamer Legion is you get your equalizer and a horrible feeling is to then almost immediately get it back up. They worked so hard for their first goal it's been spoiled away. And now Pecci looking for more. It's Bems from the sidewall. He's got one to beat. Clubs the flip reset. And back to defense, Pecci goes. Right now, AJG making something happen along the left wall. He's going to be giving it up to a teammate, though. Le Leo's going to be right there to get this one, but he's not able to get a solid enough touch to get the full clear. Wow. And that's a problem because. If you don't get the full clear, you're giving Petchy a chance, and Wissy's going to capitalize on that every time. No, you're so right. I mean, Gamer Legion, they, they kind of got sucked into their own defense there. The clear wasn't good enough from Leo. Then Alp kind of crept up thinking the clear was going to be better, and then Petchy regained control and find each other in the box, and Gamer Legion are caught out. So Petchy up by two goals and, and kind of showing the offense that I think we more or less expected coming into this series. It took them to be on series point to get there but now have come alive and sitting up by two goals that's a very comfortable position to be in at least for now but you never know the way that gamer legion have been playing they can strike at random times and if they can figure it out here I mean, hey, this game can still, this series oh. can still end right here and now. I exactly. This series could be over. I mean, if Gamer Legion can come back and make a little run here, th this might be over. We might not be going to a game number five. Great stuff coming in from Gamer Legion. That was so smart from Leo. He saw the in and out save attempted by that last man on Pechi, and he just waited for that player to come out and bumped him to prevent the save. So Gamer Legion called for concern when it came to their offense. Well, now they're back within one. They've been able to fight back. A little pan might be from Alp gets over the first man. AJG trying to force his way through. Bems has some space. Drops this one down, throwing a fake, playing it slow. With a minute left, Pechi, they don't have to do anything too crazy. They could be happy with their one goal lead. They don't have to press too hard. And you certainly don't want to get caught out. And making something happen, but Bims is going to be right there with the save yet again. Oh my gosh. Oh Not my again. goodness. <laughs> How does this keep it's happening? It's happened too many times. Another crazy interaction ends up going perfectly the way Gamer Legion. You can't make this up, man. You can't make it up. And now Gamer Legion, 44 seconds and a goal away from ending this right here in game four. I said it could happen, and. Uh, yeah, there's a chance it might. Yeah, that's crazy. I've never seen this many <laughs> random dunk goals that have gone in for a team. And despite maybe having a kickoff that certainly went best, best case scenario for them, they have gotten two other ones where they have just gone into challenges and it has trickled into the net. Petchy, though, wants to shut us up. Bems with the shot. And Gamer Legion had to stretch out to make sure that one didn't go in with 10 seconds left. Gamer Legion trying to close out this series. Yeah, but it looks like we're heading to an overtime more than likely. We got to see exactly if they're going to be able to keep this one up. And for now, they might be able to, but it looks like this one's going wide. No one's killed it just quite yet. 
And there we go. Heading to an overtime. Oh, man, I'm getting a little bit of chills. Here we go. No kickoff shenanigans. Not this time. What a fortunate position here for Gamer Legion. They were dead to rights in this game. And they have come back. An opportunity to close out the series in what would be devastating fashion for Pecci. With the way this game had gone, because I feel like Pecci's offense, they looked a lot better. Almost back to where I would expect them to be. And yet Gamer Legion has hung on multiple times. That's what they do. They hang around and wait for their opportunity. Pecci's doing everything possible. This might be it. No, able to get it past one. It is going to be out right there. AJG with the center. Not able to get enough of a redirect to make sure that the Gamer Legion player ended up missing it. So now it's going to be Pecci back on the offensive. Pan is going to back up and corral this one and try and figure out a way to clear it. And clear it in a way that's actually going to work out for them. And they've done just quite that. Putting it against the back wall. There's the demo and nobody's going to be there to try and challenge that play. So it's going to be heading right on back. Oh man. Here we go. This is going to be a good overtime. It's already well over a minute. Petchy have had their opportunities, but so has Gamer Legion. The shot on target. Last man can't get back in pen. 122 on the clock. Shut down Petchy and move on to Sunday. Wow. Gamer Legion in amazing fashion. A 3-1 comeback. They make it happen.